Um, it's it's going to be really important that we own critical space and, you know, we just stay very compact and make sure that, uh, you know, defensively we're not giving McClure, you know, any opportunities to score because she's just terrorizing in her senior year this year. She's one of the best offensive players in the conference. What, what do you see out of her that gets her those numbers? She, she's just so tenacious. She's great on the dribble. Um, she can strike right and left footed. She's got a knack for finishing. So she's just dangerous pace so she's kind of got it all it's kind of a running storyline this season but i mean you guys don't get a game off it seems like you know <laughs> so um but but you scheduling um but you know how, how have you guys fared i mean obviously you have the record but how do you yeah. think you guys have fared so far I, you know it's all about experiences and you know our our main goal sunday was just to put 90 minutes together and really eliminate any kind of mental errors and i i thought we did a really good job um, of doing that defensively and collectively, but offensively, you know, I thought we could have maybe snuck another one in there. But, um, you know, getting the shutout, but also getting that goal was so important against OU. And my hope is that, you know, we're learning um, and we could just eliminate those mental errors so, uh, you know, we can beat a, a tough team like Kansas. What went right defensively for you guys uh, yesterday? Um, I just, you know, I, I thought we did a really good job of denying service. thought we did a great job of um, being goal side and responsible of our space inside the 18. You know, I thought, um, you know, we, were, we had a lot of great pressure cover around the ball, and, and that's what's important when you got to deal with another goal scorer like Kaylee. When, kind of going back to that game, to the lead up, you know, you guys were on national TV. That's a pretty big deal. Was that... Uh, especially for a young team, I mean, was that in the conversation at all? Were you like, hey, you know, just so you no? Know. I mean, you know, we we have, uh, you know, we had so many other reasons to win mm -hmm. um, on Sunday, and that was definitely not um, a driving force that I brought up. Um, you know, I'm I'm sure it was on their minds, but you know, it was important that uh, you know we got some points, and especially at home. W other coaches kind of talk about this um, at WVU, but you know, West Virginia is obviously the furthest school away from everybody else in the Big yeah. 12. Um, how does that play into, you know, attacking the schedule uh, as it goes mm -hmm. on, especially when you have these home uh, road stands, I should say? Yeah, it's, you know, it's never easy to travel and, you know, obviously West Virginia is a little bit of an outlier, but, you know, we're just trying to find um, our rhythm of, of dealing with that. But at the end of the day, you know, our focus is just going to be on, um, you know, that when that whistle blows and when it, when it stops. Um, three more games. What's the, what's the game plan for the rest of the season? I mean, we got to get points, you know, and we got to, you know, we always play to win, but we got to come away with uh, points in the last three. Thanks, Thanks Sam.